show me one successful blog, just one, that isn't self-hosted. Nothing? Guess what? To be successful and make money blogging, you need to go self-hosted WordPress. And in this video, we will see why going self-hosted WordPress is so important, what going self-hosted WordPress means, and how to make the initial investment so small that you won't even realize it. Trust me, if you want to start making some real money with your blog, you absolutely need a self-hosted WordPress blog. So let's jump right in. But first, let me share what happens when you don't kickstart your blog with self-hosted WordPress. Let me tell you my own story. I started my first blog when I needed a creative outlet to cope with some fertility struggles my husband and I were going through. Back then, I wasn't too concerned about where my blog was hosted. I just wanted to write and be creative, so I went with Squarespace. I was drawn to its aesthetic and the fact that everything was pretty much set up. To be honest, it wasn't even a cost-saving decision because Squarespace was a bit on the pricey side. But right from the get-go, I regretted my choice. It was so frustrating. Whenever I had questions or wanted to figure out how to do something, I couldn't find any Squarespace-specific guidance. It seemed like the entire internet was buzzing with WordPress.org information, and you can probably guess why. Yeah, all those successful bloggers were rocking self-hosted WordPress, and naturally, that's what they talked about. I couldn't access most plugins or tools, and I had to find workarounds for things that WordPress bloggers were taking for granted. But back then, it wasn't a big deal because my blog was just a hobby, but then something incredible happened. I made money through my blog. Sounds great, right? Well, not quite. That's when it hit me that I could turn this into a real business. But here's the kicker. I had already learned that if I wanted to make money blogging, I needed to go self fostered So that's what I did. And let me tell you, it was a nightmare. We had to deal with domain transfer, DNS propagation, migrating content, redirecting all our links, revamping the website, and a launch release of other issues. In the process, we lost most of our comments, some shares, and our domain and page authority took a hit, along with our Alexa ranking and a good chunk of our traffic. And I have to say, Squarespace is an excellent platform. Now, free platforms like WordPress.com, Blogger, Wix, and so on, have even more substantial limitations compared to Squarespace. So if you're on one of those, you likely want to migrate to self-hosted WordPress at some point. But trust me, you don't want to go through the pain of a migration. The more content you have, the more problems can pop up during the switch. So the bottom line is, Start with self-hosted WordPress from the get-go. I get it, money can be a concern in the beginning, but later in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started in the most budget-friendly way possible. Before we dive into the details, let me make one thing crystal clear. This video is tailored exclusively for those who are that set on turning their blogs into money-making machines. If your blog is simply a hobby, then this might not be the right path for you. But if your aim is to craft a blog that rakes in profit, then you're in the right place. So keep those eyes on the screen. So what does self-hosted mean? Going self-hosted means that you need to sign up for a hosting plan with a web hosting provider. You choose a company that specializes in hosting website on their service. After signing up with a hosting provider and obtaining a domain if needed, you configure your website by installing your chosen content management system, CMS, such as WordPress, on your hosting account. You can then customize your website, add content, and manage it. It means you're getting your own little piece of the internet. Here's the deal. You sign up with the web hosting company, experts are looking after websites, and they provide the space to make your website live online. Now, I get it, it can sound a bit tacky and puzzling at first, no sweat. Understanding this concept can be tricky, especially when you're just starting out. It's common for new bloggers to find it a bit confusing. In fact, when I told Marina, my sister, we needed to go self hosted, she couldn't quite grasp the concept at first, so I told her to think of a web hosting like owning a parking space in a parking garage. When you acquire your own web hosting service, it's like having your own dedicated parking space 
in the garage. In this parking garage analogy, the Austin company is like the garage management. They own and maintain the garage, the server, and you reserve your parking space, your Austin plan within it. You have control over your parking space. You can customize it, decide which car to park and when to use it. And once she understood what Lisa said also, she asked, but why? So let's see why. But first, if you want to learn more about how to start a blog and make money blogging, then make sure you click the link in my description box because I have a free guide that will dive deeper into how to create your own blog and get you started. This guide will walk you through the blueprint I used to start my blog that turned into a multiple six-figure business and comes with in-depth strategies, assignments, and tons of actionable tips so you don't want to miss out. Get it for free at the link in the description box below. Back to why you need to go self-hosted WordPress if you want to make money blogging. Firstly, using the garage analogy again, if you own your parking space, you have control over your parking space. You can customize it, decide which car to park and when to use it. Now, imagine an alternative scenario. Using a free hosting platform is like parking your car in a shared public parking area. You don't have your dedicated space and you're subject to the rules and restrictions set by the garage management. You can't personalize your parking spot or make it truly yours. So you can fully customize your self-hosted website, including its appearance and functionality. This allows you to create a unique and engaging user experience that resonates with your audience. But that's not all. Self-hosted websites tend to look more professional, which can be crucial for attracting potential potential partners and advertisers. It gives the impression that you're serious about your online presence. So foster blogs give you greater flexibility when it comes to monetization. You can use various ad networks, sell your products or services and implement diverse income streams. Brands often prefer to collaborate with self-hosted blogs and websites due to the higher level of control and professionalism they offer. Self-hosted sites are more scalable and can handle increased traffic without restrictions and extra costs. This is crucial for growth and increased income potential. So in short, going self-hosted empowers you with more control, customization, and opportunities to optimize your website for success in the real search engines, monetizations, affiliate marketing, brand deals, and more. Keep watching because I don't want you to make the same mistake that lots of bloggers make at the start. But first, if you're enjoying the tips so far, hit the subscribe button to get more tips on how to grow your blog and make money blogging. Back to the mistake that most new bloggers make. Listen, I know what some of you might be thinking. Hey, I'm a WordPress. I'm good to go. But hold on a second. Let's double check. Are you on self-hosted WordPress? Because if you're on WordPress.com, you might be on the wrong platform. I understand some of you might be paying to have your blog on WordPress, but then doesn't automatically make you self-hosted. It's easy to get a bit tangled up, especially when you're just starting out in the blogging world. The lines between WordPress.org and WordPress.com and between self-hosted and premium WordPress can get a little blurry. While WordPress.org is what you want to use in combination with your web host to go self-hosted, WordPress.com is a blogging platform where you can host your blog for free, but comes with several limitations. In other words, WordPress.com is the shared public parking area. The source of confusion often stems from the fact that WordPress.com offers paid plans like premium business and VIP. While these plans do allow some level of monetization, they come at a high cost and still comes with limitations that might not align with your full monetization goals. For example, if you're on the free plan of WordPress.com, there are certain things you can't do. For example, you can install AdSense or other ad networks. You're limited to displaying ads from the AdWords network. Also, you can run a full-fledged affiliate marketing blog on WordPress.com, meaning your primary content can't solely aim to drive traffic to other sites for sales. However, this doesn't mean you can't use occasional affiliate links if your blog provides lots of valuable content. WordPress officially allows exceptions, particularly for things like book or product reviews. In addition to this restriction, WordPress.com comes with other limitations. You can't install
install plugin. So use Google Analytics unless you own the business plan, which costs her whooping $299 a year. And honestly, that's pretty steep and not usually worth it for most bloggers. One more point to clarify for new bloggers, blogs on wordpress.com will initially have a web address like yourblog.wordpress.com if you decide to buy a custom domain such as yourblog.com while staying on wordpress.com it's essential to understand that this doesn't equate to being self-hosted in this case you merely acquired a custom domain but all the limitations mentioned earlier in terms of customization and monetization will still be in effect let's make it clear Going self-hosted for monetizing your blog is a smart move and is a no-brainer. If you want to make money blogging, you need to invest in your blog. You can start with the smallest investment by choosing the perfect host for new bloggers. Let's see how. So I totally get it. When you're just starting out, shelling out big bucks on expensive courses or blogging tools might not be on your radar. But here's the deal. Starting on self-hosted WordPress is an absolute must. Now, here is the good news. The investment we're talking about is very, very small. You can kickstart a blog for as little as $2.95 a month. So yes, it's $40 a year, but it's not too much in the grand scheme of things, especially when you think about how much it usually costs to launch a brick and mortar store or any other kind of business. And here is the icing on the cake. Since we in this to create a money-making blog, odds are you've recouped the initial investment within the first month, possibly even the first week. So it's not just money spent, it's a smart investment in your blogging future. So my recommendation is to go with Bluehost and kickstart your blog on the first of WordPress. Is Bluehost the absolute best hosting provider out there? No. But it sent down the best source for new bloggers. You see, when you're just starting out, you don't need all the bells and whistles of advanced features. The beauty of Bluehost is that it allows you to embark on your self-hosted blog journey with minimal upfront investment. You can always level up or switch to another host down the road, but the crucial part is to begin on the right foot, which means starting with a self-hosted blog on wordpress.org. And for that, Blue Oz stands out as a solid budget-friendly choice. It's like the getaway to self-hosting, especially if you're working with a tight budget. Plus, the domain name is included for free in the Blue Oz plan, so you will save even more money. Blue Oz also comes with a free SSL certificate, which is essential for website security and free email addresses. You can check Blue Oz out at the link in the description box down below. Now, you remember that at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that this was all you needed for a successful blog, but I might have stressed the truth a bit. Watch this video next to find out what else can make or break your blog. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao e a presto!